Late last night, I landed in Thailand and I'm here for the Galax overclocking event, but I got here a few days earlier and of course I'm gonna go use parts hunting. Now I was here a year ago and when I was here, I got a lot of comments about checking out some new places, one of them being Palladium Plaza and another one called Fortune Town. I also got recommended to go outside of the city, but I'm really not too keen to venture outside of the city as I'm only here for a few days. I wanna relax and not get into any trouble. Also got a lot of comments about Lady Boys and Bangkok. And guys, if you're into that kind of thing, then go for it. Uh, as for me personally, I'm good. I don't need either of the two. But with that said, let's get this show on the road. So we've just made it into a Palladium Plaza and you guys were saying that this place was better than Panther Plaza but I've already I've been here for like two minutes and I've already got hounded by three different people for massages so maybe is that is that why it's better but I don't know apparently on the fourth and fifth floor of this place is all IT so I'm actually on the fourth floor now so we're gonna go use PC parts hunting up here and see what deals we can get but apparently there's also the sixth floor but that's out of like out of service at the moment but anyway, if we stop over these places and we get deals, then I'll record for you guys. So now I've found a store right at the back of the fourth floor, and this is called Techno Beyond. And I've uh, met Ed, he's a really nice guy. He showed me around. I asked what uh, PC parts he has on display and which motherboards he has working. I told him I'm looking for used motherboards mainly. And he showed me he had a H55 gigabyte board and also a H81M. So that's first and fourth gen motherboards. I need both of them at the moment. And so we struck a deal for about uh, 1500 baht, which would be around uh, 70 or maybe $60 for the both of those boards. So that's pretty good going. I'm happy with that deal because as always, when I go deal hunting, I like to get at least one deal out of the whole equation just to make me feel satisfied as the, after the day's ended. So I'm now just in a place called VNN Computers and they've got some new, but they're of course old, uh, 1156 motherboards and they want around, I think about 60, 70 US, but they only have two dim slots and the uh, VRMs I'm guessing is very weak. So you really couldn't expect to overclock on these motherboards, but they do have some really cool cases behind me. Uh, Mini ITX cases as well that I've never seen before. They're very lightweight. Uh, of course, they're not as expensive as uh, $100 cases. I think they're, they're asking around $50, but it's a really good experience here so far. They've pointed me to a shop called Entech. So we're gonna go over there and see if we can find some used, actual used PC parts, because apparently that's the place to go. But ironically enough, they're opening at 2 p.m. I mean, I've never heard of a, a shop opening at like afternoon at 2 p.m. Anyway, maybe I'm just not with the times nowadays. So now we're out the front of Entec and now this place has been recommended to me by practically everyone on this floor. And when I came and checked out the place, they definitely have the goods. Uh, they had a lot of H61, H87, also older motherboards as well. So they've even got like an X79 board. Of course, they are pretty tough on the prices. I can't bargain them down at all. So they're asking about a thousand baht for a motherboard. Uh, I think that's worth it for the H87 gigabyte board, which has got the eight pin CPU connector from memory. I believe this board, especially it's because it's the revision one, it can run a four core eight threaded CPU absolutely fine without throttling. So I'll probably look around and definitely go to Panther Plaza and come back and go collect these deals just because of course I wanna get the best deal regardless. I know at the price that they're asking, it's actually a pretty decent deal, like it's solid. Uh, it's just of course I wanna look around and if the suitcase is already full with even better deals, then uh, we don't have to come back. So I am definitely gonna look at getting two of these motherboards, the H61, which I could definitely use to replace that HP board uh, with the GT1030 or something. And also that H87, like I said before, really solid board. So, but they just won't bargain at all. Like they won't come down at prices here. They're just really set on their 1000 bar, which I think is about 40 Australian dollars or 30 USD or something like that. So it is a pretty good deal. It's just, of course, you wanna get the best deals possible like that store before when we picked up those two motherboards. So I am hustling hard, but I think I've met my match at this store right here. So now I've gone around the whole fifth floor and I've asked around the stores who's got used motherboards and a lot of the places don't have used motherboards. I actually saw in two of the stores, uh, they had the pricing on even just old H81 series motherboards, but they had them brand new for around 1600 baht. 
So that deal for even a thousand baht's pretty good if it's confirmed working for those motherboards. But the store behind me now, Elite Systems, they've actually been really helpful in sort of telling me where to go and where to get the deals. They do reckon a few stores at Pantit Plaza will have some used parts, and they actually just like, everyone here is connected as well. That's one thing I've got to tell you guys about. Like they all know each other on the same floor, and so they'll, you just be friendly to them and they'll like tell you uh, the inside deals. They'll talk to their friends about who's got the best prices on used price performance parts. Uh, so it's a really good atmosphere. And from here behind me, I actually managed to score a uh, BTC uh, Biostar 250 series multiple with 12 PCIe slots on board for around about $150. So they, they wanted about 3,700 baht. I got them down to 3,450. So that's a really good deal. I actually purchased that because that'll be able to replace my two systems with one and still have a lot more headroom if I want to add graphics cards onto the actual mining rig. So really impressed with that board. So yeah, 150 Australian dollars, which would be like 120 USD for that board, which is a really good deal. Now, another sad thing about, uh, especially even Palladium, I haven't been to Pantip yet, so I can't check it out. But I was talking to a few people. They moved over from Pantip Plaza to Palladium because the rent's a lot cheaper here. But on the fourth floor, a couple of the guys were telling me uh, that a lot of the stores are closing down because the business is so bad at the moment. And also with that, internet sales are taking over. So it's really sad to see that. I mean, I, I don't like hearing about economic tough times because people lose jobs and stuff like that, uh, even happening on YouTube with the adpocalypse thing. So it's a really weird time. It feels like maybe the whole thing's going into recession even, especially in Thailand. So it's sad to hear about that because the people here are extremely nice. Uh, it's so really, it's awesome just to get out here and go parts hunting. So a little bit sad to hear that news, but of course, uh, we're going to go over to Panta Plaza from here on in and see if we can score some deals over there and see what some of those prices of those used motherboards are like because a lot of the places here have those main boards and that's the main component that I need for these rigs. So we just rocked into Panta Plaza and now we're going to skip the first floor because the last time we came here the first floor just had nothing but new parts. And it's really cool. If you want to see some real cool custom builds, wall-mounted PCs and stuff like that, they've got that on the first floor. Also, if you're coming to Bangkok or Thailand to buy used PC parts, then you're going to get some pretty good deals if you can hunt around here. But the new parts, of course, they're a little bit more expensive than Australia and a bit more expensive than the US. So it's good if you're from like a remote island or something and the prices are really expensive. But if you're coming from Australia, the US or the UK, then you're not really going to get good deals on new parts. With that said, let's check out the second floor and see what we can find. So we just got done checking out the second floor and they did have one store called M&M Technology. And now these guys did have some good parts. Like they had the boards I was looking for, but they were asking way too much. Like they were asking about 30% more, about 1400 baht for the same motherboard as the other place. So the other place definitely looking better at the moment. So we're looking like we will go back. But of course, let's check out the third and fourth floor of this place before we do head back. And on that note as well, I did go to the back of this floor, like the second floor here, right at the end. And people just didn't want to talk to me. Like they looked at me and they were like, I was like, hey, can I check out these motherboards? And they're like, just like literally like looked at me and then just looked away. I was like, okay, if you don't want to sell your stuff, it's so good. Maybe, or maybe they just knew I was like gonna hustle them and like the anti-hustle and they're like, no, nah, we, we don't have the time, man. And we finished up now on the third floor and this was pretty interesting because we went over at the back and there was one store that first of all had like a used parts section and they opened up the doors and then they had the packages and they wanted like 2,800 baht for all their package deals with i3s and the motherboards that I wanted but it's a little too expensive. I mean, they're charging almost 2,000 baht or like $80 for an i3. It's really not worth it. Uh, but then we looked around the corner and the name of this place that we looked around the corner at was really uh, unique to say the least. It was called Poo Computer Services. So I hope that's not a indicator of their actual services that they provide, but we managed to get a H81K Azus board here 
for 800 baht. So we saved 200 baht from the other place at Palladium. So that's winning, baby. So let's get onto the fourth floor and check out what deals they got up there. And I think that's about it. I mean, there might be a fifth floor as well, but let's go check it out. And we just finished up on the fourth floor and that was a massive success. We picked up a H81 ASRock Mini ITX board for a thousand baht. So that'd be about 40 Australian dollars or 30 USD. So the reason we got the Mini ITX board is that it gives us a bit of flexibility. And now in the past, I've done micro ATX boards, but a used Mini ITX build is looking like it's on the cards now. They did have another H81 board for 900 baht and I did bargain them down from 1300 to 1000 for the Mini ITX, but the, they did have an Asus uh, H81 board, but I'd rather pay an extra 100 baht for the H87 gigabyte board, so that'll give us a stronger VRM, as I said before, and more options. But with that said, let's go hunt around on the last and final floor. This is the fifth floor. We'll go see if we can pick up any more deals before we head back to that place and grab some motherboards from there. So we just finished up on the fifth floor and this was a bust, though we did come close to getting some deals. We looked at a H87M from a Zeus. Uh, so this, they wanted around 1400 baht for this. I did say a thousand baht, which would be like, again, 30 USD, but they were pretty firm on that price. But it wasn't a complete bust because they did have the same mini ITX board that I just bought from downstairs, brand new in the box going for 1,300 baht. So that's an extremely good deal if you guys want to come here and you don't even want to haggle. That's an extremely good deal going on the fifth floor here. There was also another store that we went to and they had the uh, ASRock H61M motherboard and they wanted 1,000 baht just like the other place. And I tried getting them down to 900 and 800 and they just said no, they wouldn't take it at all. Uh, so I'd rather go back to the other place and buy from them because they were extremely nice to me. So I guess manners matter, if anything. But with that said, we're going to go collect the loot from Palladium and then we're going to go get on out of here. So we just finished up at NJ Tech and this is like crazy drama now. I thought I'd just come back here and have a smooth, easy buy here with the two motherboards. Uh, but what happened was I paid for him initially. I bargained him down a hundred baht. So I did bargain him down about four or five dollars. And so he accepted two motherboards for 1900. But as I was packing them up or as they were packing them up for me, I asked them to put the hard covers on because I'm going to be putting these in suitcases and you shouldn't have just paper over the pins. You'll risk bending the pins. So as I was changing them over for hard covers, I noticed that the H61 motherboard had a lot of bent pins. And so with that, I said, I don't want this anymore. And so he refunded me a thousand baht. So we ended up getting the H87M for 900 baht, which is like, you know, 30 Australian dollars or 30 USD or something like that. So it's really cheap. And I just got them to test that it was working because the other H61 motherboards, actually, they had three of them and they all had bent pins on them. So I was like, damn, you know, is this guy selling some, you know, shady wares? So I just looked and he did confirm that the H87 board was working. So with that, I got a refund of a thousand baht. And so now I'm going to go back to the other place that had the H61 ASRock board. Just check that that's got no bent pins and I'll pick that up for a thousand baht because I desperately need that. I do need one H61 board because I've got an i5-2400 CPU that I pulled out of another build and I want to use that in a build. And of course with motherboards, they're always the main component in a build and a lot of people don't sell them cheap. So, especially good ones that are working. So if you can always pick up a main board for good money, then get it. I just got back to the hotel and I am so buggered. I'm spent, guys. I've just used all my energy now today, just wheeling and dealing, getting those good deals, hustling, and we ended up with five used motherboards three of those H81 motherboards, one of those a H55 and also a H61. Also bought that BTC250 Pro motherboard 
That was an extremely good deal considering it's got 12 PCIe slots and they all work for cryptocurrency mining. And on that note of cryptocurrency mining, a lot of people at both Palladium and Pantip Plaza, they were into cryptocurrency really hard. They're all using nice hash. I was like asking them what's going on here and they're just all mining. They're all into it in, uh, in Thailand. So apparently it's all between BTC, ETH and Zcash here. That's what they're all mining in Thailand. So it was pretty cool to talk to them about cryptocurrencies and see what they were doing. One of the guys was making racks for them and selling those and they were selling all the 1070s. So the rumor here is, is that they all use the 1070s for cryptocurrency mining. Apparently they're just the best. Uh, in terms of efficiency. So that's why your 1070s got sold out pretty much straight away, while all the other graphics cards did get sold out, but they were a bit slower than the 1070s to sell out. Also, another thing is, well, I picked up this debug LED readout, got that for around $8. That's really cool, plug it into a PCI slot, and you've now got a debug LED that can read out problems if you've got that. And three LED lights as well on top of that. Pick those, three of them up for about $10, I think. And they're gonna be really cool for B-roll and just doing some little things. So it was just really cheap, some cool accessories that I picked up too. So this has just been a massive used parts haul. And this time around, it's been so much better than the last time I came here. There's just so many deals now with used PCs and the parts that they got available. There was so many motherboards. I could have picked up a lot more motherboards than I did. I just picked up the cream of the crop and got the absolute best deals I could. There were still pretty good deals, as I said before, the mini ITX boards, they were brand new in the box. So if you guys come here, you can definitely get some good deals on used motherboards. And also it was really fun as well. The food here is great. If you're coming over, make sure you change your money over at Supercash. They got the best rates I'm finding on the street or places around them usually match the price as well, but they got really low spreads. They beat the banks by like 2% as well. So 2% saved if you just go to Supercash and change your money over there. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's epic used parts hunt in Bangkok. They also did have the LGA775 boards and DDR2, but as I've said on like live streams in the past, I'm kind of phasing out of DDR2 and LGA775 especially since the AliExpress uh, first gen i5s and uh, Xeons, they're extremely cheap and also the motherboards like we picked up today are getting really cheap as well. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite deal of today? I'm so buggered, but I'll probably go eat dinner, have a drink somewhere and relax and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye. So I'll think about it. So 2,800 baht for this one. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll think about it. Hey, this one here? The H81, how much? I'm like, I'm looking around here and I'm probably the only happy looking dude in this place at the moment because I'm getting the deals. Run! Go! Get to the... Talk, talk.